so I couldn't find any good videos on how to do scrolling text over Bluetooth on an Arduino on YouTube, so I decided to try to make my own. And this is just a video about how I approached that and how I did it. So, you can type in keywords over here, such as background green. That uh, changes the background, but the same text, which can be whatever you want, but I just have YouTube here as an example. Um, just gonna need to scroll. So to do this, you need a HM2 adapter, which I'll have linked in the description, as well as a 4.7K resistor and 2 point, or 2K resistor. I used a knockoff Arduino Nano. You need some jumper wires and breadboard. Also need a WS 28 uh, 12V LED display. I'll link that in the bio as well. And then I just have a little diffuser and a 3D printed housing to kind of even out the light a little bit. So that's without the diffuser. And then what you were seeing before is with it. The app I'm using is called. Oh. I'll link it in the description. And I'll also link the code. The app is called Light Blue. It's from Punch Through. It's free to download. I didn't connect to the Arduino once everything's plugged in properly, and I'll try to attach a wired diagram for everybody. You just go to peripherals, and then for me, it's DSD Tech. Should be the same for you. Go to DSD Tech, and then change this value in the top right from hex to. Um, UTF-8, at that point you can write a new value, so I'm just going to write my name, so Boaz, and then that sends over Bluetooth, and that changes from YouTube to Boaz, and then to write commands, it's all in the code, but you just do FG for foreground, so FG um, red to change it to red, and now the text changes to red in the foreground. I have um, red blue, white, uh, RGB, plus white, and then clear to just completely clear it off. So we blank, and that works for background and foreground, and you can just do any text. So for the wiring, you're going from the Arduino TX pin, which is located right here. You can see TX and then RX. You're going from this, this is the black cable, through a 2K resistor, and then Bluetooth RX. And you also have on the same like um, cable here, so you can see I got the voltage divider right here where you got the TX coming in and then it has the 2K resistor and then on the same line it has this 4.7K going to the ground pin and then this goes to the Bluetooth RX pin. And then for the rest of the wiring, this is just a data pin for the LEDs. This is just power and ground. So it goes to the VCC and ground on that. Power and ground on the LED driver. And then this orange cable just goes straight from the RX to the TX and the Bluetooth, long, uh, Bluetooth dongle. I'm just going to try to run through the code real quickly. I'm using a library called distributorsplay.h. So this just set up stuff for it. This is the LED pin. This is defining the like X and Y of the LED matrix. All this is just basic fast LED stuff. This is where you define the origin for the, um, like the pattern of how it's going up and down on the LEDs. This is just some default variables and then settings so like the text starts outside the screen so it doesn't just jump in right away. This is where you add your LED thing. You should be able to just change these variables up here depending on the size. So you can go up to like 64 or 64 or bigger if you need. Starting serial. Starting with like the text, background, and foreground default. First text that's going to send. And this is just updating message text. So I have this just so it tells you in serial what's happening. And then this is text one dot substring so it's coming in right here from the uh, serial commands over bluetooth I try to have some documentation in there and then if inside of that string because this is a string it has the keywords background red then it clears the display of other colors and then it says the background color to red 
it shows that color. Same for all this. This is for foreground. All these are for foreground. And this is messy and I'm going to change it eventually. But if any of those keywords are included, then it doesn't display or it doesn't like update the text and change it. But if none of them are uh, part of that like stream that you last sent, then it just displays the text or whatever you send. The rest of this is just part of the library's example file. And this uh, void loop, which is what continuously runs. And you can see like where it says right here, give us a serial corresponds to this and display message text. Is that big long function right here that I was talking about. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And all the code and stuff is in the description.